Bum, 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 ba, da, da. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. I'm not gonna play today, sorry, because I need to take the day off. Luckily I can make a video, but I can't play in it. Let's talk about a little bit of, a little bit of a trial by fire of my Yamaha 613, no letter. Again, the uh, 613G, gold bell. Otherwise the same, 613H, completely different instrument. <laughs> I think it has the same valves, but it has a different rack. It's got a different bell. It's got a different tuning slide. It's got a different slide. I don't know why they use the same letter twice for like, or the same designation twice for like completely different instruments, but I guess that's just Yamaha at the time. They did kind of did the same thing with the 612, which had like a bunch of different variations. Anyway, this one's my 613. I've had a lot of time to play it and it's great. I seriously like this horn a lot. I talk a lot of smack about Yamaha. Um, I actually own two Yamahas already, and I've owned Yamahas in the past, and I've played lots of Yamahas, and my my feelings are mixed. They make some really amazing instruments. I really like my euphonium. It's a very good instrument. They make the best marching brass, for instance. Not that that's a very high bar, but they still do. Um, and a lot of the modern Yamaha trombones just don't do it for me. They're so boring. They're so inconsistent. I just I can't be on board. Um, they're so soft. The metal itself is just very soft. And it ends up being a problem a lot of the time, as I've seen on multiple occasions. But they got some things right in the past. This is from the mid-80s. has the best valves on the planet for the mid-80s. I mean, these were like... They had to have been mind-blowing as someone coming from like a con or a Bach with little tiny rotors and just playing these and being like, whoa, they're so even, they're so easy to play. They still have pretty good valve legato. They're nice and open, but they're not like weirdly leaky open. They're just amazing and they're quick, they're quiet, they have great linkage. They're not hard to take care of, they're not picky or anything. Seriously, great valves. Bell is a nice uh, thin 10 inch uh, yellow brass, gives plenty of feedback. And kind of most surprising to me is it sounds really good. I just listened to a recording of myself from Disneyland yesterday, and I was kind of blown away, like, wait, that's me playing? And it's me playing this? I've played my monster bass at work a lot of times because I just didn't want to play the Yamaha. And it's an amazing horn. It's not built for that setting. It's such hard work to play it there. It's really heavy. It just is not really the right style of instrument for that in any case. And I sound pretty good on that. And this sounds great as well. I'm not going to say it sounds better, but really, really, really close for that setting. So all in all, I'm really super duper happy about this. There's really only like a couple downsides. Um, the slide has some chrome loss, which I've kind of forgotten about because it, the slide works so well. I have not cleaned it in like 10 days. It's super dirty. And it still works fine. You can hear it making a little noise, but I would still play this for the whole day. Um, it has an underslung F lever, so instead of the bottom part of the lever here, on some horns, that's above the thumb. On this, you can see it goes below the thumb, and that's a little bit uncomfortable. It's not perfect. You kind of have to like have your hand a certain way. Your thumb is always touching the lever, um, and you probably can't see it but the previous owner had worn away the nickel plating on this lever by having the thumb just resting there all the time. So it would be nice if that were the other way around. Honestly, not a huge deal. And otherwise, it's nice and light, but it doesn't feel like cheaply built or like spindly. It feels like it's gonna stay together. And it just plays very evenly. Um, I think the one big problem I have playing, uh, playing wise that the high range is not the best. My monster bass has an amazing centered easy high range. This is not like that. Now it looks like they're about to leaf blow my yard. So I'll wrap this up. Great horn. If you find one of these for cheap like I did, I highly recommend it if you are a doubler or even not if you're a doubler because this is a really great bass trombone and I think I'm probably just gonna keep it for now. Like I just don't really have a reason not to. It's great. Um, I have a Bach project that I have all the parts for. I have a bell section, I have valves, I have tubing, I have the levers. And I'm just like, 
man, when am I going to do that? I don't need it anymore. I've got this. Um, so we'll see what happens for now. This is sticking around. I have no reason to get rid of it. And that's all I got for now. More Contra content coming soon when I play again and have some time. That's all. Bye-bye.